Uh, so, uh, I'm tired. I'm really tired. But, had a, uh, a lot of fun, had a good day. What is up? Uh, going today to, uh, to help out with a video shoot for uh, Kill Devil Films. So excited uh, to, uh, to be a part of it. So gonna stop off, get some coffee cause I have a feeling it's gonna be a late night and, uh, and uh, we'll get on the road. All right, so here at the venue, it's uh, it's pretty cool looking. I'll show you here in a second. Um, I'm gonna just start getting my behind the scenes rig ready to go. All right, so this is the inside of the venue. Looks uh, looks pretty cool. Kind of give you an idea. It's a it's a barn. I think they usually use this for like weddings, things like that. Working today with Thomas was, was really cool because he's shot just a ton of videos. And so he really knows the process well. He knows uh, composition and the lighting and everything. So uh, it was cool because I got to, you know, help out on a, a production where I didn't have to worry about performing. I didn't have to worry about um, owning the, the whole shot process. Um, and it was still cool because I got to learn a lot. Stuff that I was working on, uh, I was helping to set up lights. I was helping, you know, with just general grip stuff. Uh, you know, kind of getting everything set up. All right, so we are pretty much set up. We are just waiting on the sun to go down. Uh, let me try to get drone shot over on this lake back here. And coming over into the barn, we'll we'll see how that plays out. I mean, I'm not going to Thomas is, but uh, but yeah, this is this is what a lot of music videos is is uh, kind of waiting, getting set up and ready to go, and then just waiting. During a lot of the actual shooting of the video, I was doing kind of behind the scenes stuff. So I had this rig here, which I haven't broken down yet, um, and I've used similar rigs like this. This is the first time I've used this ex exact one, but I really dug this. Um, so I got a little GoPro here. Uh, this is a GoPro uh, 7 Black. What I was doing was a lot of behind the scenes filming, and I was really trying to capture like what would it be like to be Thomas filming a, a video. So, you know, kind of watching the way he moves, trying to kind of follow him as he's following the, uh, the band. So uh, with that, I wanted to capture some audio as well. So I, I busted out my uh, Zoom H5 here. And uh, what's cool is this, uh, this module will actually capture sound up to uh, 140 decibels. Um, so it can get pretty loud. So, you know, you're able to crank the gain down pretty low here to be able to capture it. This is not as loud as other shoots I've been on because the drummer was wearing in-ear monitors. So what that means is you didn't don't have to then get the the sound so loud to get over the drums. Like the drums are loud enough as it is, <laughs> but um, the sound really just needs to be um, loud enough for the guitar player and the bass player. And they were kind of pulled forward a little bit. So uh, when you don't have to have the sound blasting over the drums so the drummer can hear it actually made it a lot easier. <laughs> Yeah, so I was doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff and then there were some specialty shots that I was helping out with uh, with some lighting and um, one in particular, I mean, there was, there was some, some pretty uh, pretty rough workouts in there, but it was a lot of fun, just, but a lot of, you know, kind of holding up like a, a boom arm with, uh, with the light on the end, just getting some really cool motion shots.
Uh, I'm really looking forward to see like how this all edits together. Um, not sure when it's gonna be released. So I'm gonna get a shower because I desperately need one and go to bed. You know, stuff that I was working on. Uh, so I got a cat up there. This is what I deal with all the time.